one other point to mention. GitHub is not a good site to use. Most, <laughs> most operations on GitHub require running non-free software. I can't get much information out of a GitHub URL. I might be able to uh, download and, uh, and uh, clone the repository if I wanted to study in that much detail, which I never do. I never have time for that. But to get the general information about the program, like what does it do, what is its license, what, uh, what, do you, what does it depend on, that's not easy to get. That's a very bad thing. Uh, in gnu.org slash software slash repo criteria evaluation dot html, you can see our criteria for judging a repository site and our evaluations of various repository sites, including GitHub. GitHub gets an F and you can see exactly why. So please don't put your work on GitHub. Please put it somewhere else on a site that matches up to the criteria for a good and freedom respecting repository. <clears throat> what about payments? I've never used cryptocurrency. There were things that uh, I found disappointing and worrisome when I saw, when I learned about Bitcoin. And it's not clear to me that others are much better. Uh, one thing is that Bitcoin tries to make the payer and payee, both of them, anonymous. Now, it may not do a very good job of them. Basically, it's the wallet doesn't have to be identified with anyone. But if, since all the, all the transactions can be tracked, the money can be tracked around from one person to another. And unless you're a miner, how did you get it? So that's one reason why I prefer GNU Toller. GNU Toller is an anonymous payment system developed in the GNU project. You can get more information at toller.net. It's not a currency. It's for payments denominated in currencies that people use. Uh, so if it were implemented here in Germany, it would probably be trading with euros but it's not an investment vehicle. It's not meant for currency speculation because it's not a currency. If you get, say, uh, 100 euros in dollar tokens, well, the only fluctuation in their value will be the fluctuation of the euro, which is much less than the fluctuation of a cryptocurrency. I'm not, I don't want to do currency speculation myself at all. I'm not a fan of risk. I don't gamble. <clears throat> now, with Toller, the payer is anonymous, but the payee is always identified, which means that Toller does not help millionaires hide lots of money from taxation. The world has a tremendous problem with wealth that is hidden and cannot be taxed. It's part of the way that the billionaires have been transferring more and more of the world's wealth to them, leaving less and less for everyone else. And this, this change is on the order of maybe 20% of the world's wealth. It's an enormous change that impoverishes people who were not rich, but even worse, it gives the rich people the power of oligarch, uh, the power to buy governments. 
And that threatens democracy, that threatens the rights of all of us. But <clears throat> if we insist on payment systems that don't permit the hiding of large amounts of wealth, that problem will get less instead of more. Tyler is not designed for paying a million dollars or a million euros. It's designed for buying things every day. So <clears throat> I went to an event in October and saw somebody wearing a shirt that said, tax me if you can. His reason to advocate uh, cryptocurrencies was essentially to try to exclude his money from contributing a share to the needs of having a good society. There, states have very important responsibilities, and in order to carry those out, they need taxes. Letting the rich get out of the taxes and dump those on the non-rich leads to disaster. So I'm happy that GNU Toller will not have that flaw. <clears throat>